we're on. We're back. Oh, okay. And in the studio with me now are uh, two of the ballroom dancers. Mary Mackey is here and uh, Jim Hughes, in case you can't tell the difference. This is Mary, and that is Jim there. All right. And you're going to talk about the New Year's, New Year's Day dance. Yes, we are. Uh, Vince, what we want to make sure is that everybody who's a resident here knows that they are welcome to come to our New Year's Eve party. Walkers, wheelchairs, games, come as you can. Enjoy yourself with us. It's free. Um, we'll have wonderful music. Um, music that you are familiar with because it will be music of the 40s and the 50s. Vince knows that. Yeah, we've got to hook up. Oh, okay. Gotta hook up your microphone. There. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. Vince knows this uh, music very well himself, and so it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's free. People can bring their uh, beverages and their nibbles, and we watch the ball come down in Times Square together, and so we usher in the new year. So that's what we're. Uh, up to and we sure hope that you will consider coming and being a part of our fun and this is all sponsored by the Dan dance room uh, folks and Mary Mackey is a very important part of that hi <laughs> yeah I, I'm sorry I think you mentioned it uh, Jim it's 8 30 to 12 30 8 thank you thank you it's what's 8 30 the 1230 question mark. Yes. Because it may well go beyond that. It's, it's, been, it's been known to go beyond that. <laughs> That's yes. right. Yeah, right. Uh, so now, are we, are we going to have the big screen with the uh, thing falling in? Yes, Times we are going to have the big screen and the crystal ball at Times Square coming down, and we'll count down with it. We won't have Guy Lombardo and the... Uh, and his uh, folks, but uh, we'll have the fun time together and the music that will all be part of it. We'll, we'll have someone there with a mouth organ, probably. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Mary, how long have you been with the uh, ballroom dancers? Um, I arrived in, in October and um, a f uh, with uh, another friend, Cindy DiNardo, and um, we were going to go to the play. Mm -hmm. Uh, and th that was last year in October, and we missed the time, and we heard this music down the hall oh, yeah. Yeah. at the Lake Acting Room, and uh, that's when we looked into it, and uh, it's just, I've been involved with the uh, ballroom dancing ever since, both of us. Yeah. And it's just been a lot of fun. It's a very nice social group. Um, the other thing is, is that it's very good for you. Um, the uh, <clears throat> dancing is the easiest way to have exercise without even knowing you're exercising. Mm -hmm. it, it stimulates the endorphins. I'm sorry, um, what was that? Is endorphins. <laughs> All right. <laughs> those are little chemicals in your brain. I see. Um, it also hopefully banishes a lot of the old um, ideas of dancing where everyone remembers their junior high experiences where they're sitting and no one's dancing with them and it's you know and then trying to get someone to ask you to dance there's a number of cost customs with the ballroom dancing where the guys are dancing with everyone uh, even couples come in and we ask that the uh, partner dance with other people as well and so everyone gets a chance to dance. Mm -hmm. And then here we have Linda Conlon, who has been a dance instructor. And she is giving free dance lessons. Now, starting in January, that's twice uh, a month. Uh, no, no, four times a month. No, excuse me. It's eight times a month. I don't know. You, you have to count them up. Just count them up. Sundays and Wednesdays. Yeah. Sundays. <laughs> Sundays and Thursdays. It's Wednesdays and in the uh, um, we that bowling. extra we, we, bowling. we bowling room. And on uh, um, Sundays, it's in the Lake Acting Room down below in uh, Village Square. 
And, and we have all types of dancing, so it's very stimulating. And, and you get to really um, use your brain, you know, because you have to learn how to count and do all those things. And you dress up, you know? I mean, you try to look the best that you are, bringing out whatever, you know, covering up the flaws and coming out looking good. And it, it's just a pep up idea. It, it's very energizing. And uh, so on Fridays, we have the dance and uh, um, socialize usually afterwards. Yes. So, um, and it's only seven to nine, you know, you're not going to die of exercise, but uh, <laughs> the guys might because they're dancing almost every <laughs> dance, you know, the women, we don't do as much, but uh, uh, it's just a lot of fun. We have some really good dancers. And uh, the guys are really are trying to learn how to lead. Most guys have never learned how to show what the next step is. Yep. The only problem I have as a modern woman is that I'm supposed to follow them all the time. Sure. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> um, and I don't, you, I usually do okay, don't uh -huh. I, Jim? Yeah, I you sure do. <clears throat> yeah, you do great. Well, well, well I can testify. Uh, that uh, this lady, Mary, has the best hip action of anybody well, on the campus. That's true. That's it? A, yes, it, you're right. Now, that, that's kind of a challenge, isn't it? A challenge to the other, all the other ladies on, uh, uh, at Greenspring. Uh, but right now, uh, this, this lady has yeah. some great hip action. And, and by the way, I tell people that uh, I can really dance with women who know how to dance and who lead. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. and, you, and you can lead too. I, I, I can attest to that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, now, Vince, let's not forget that here you are in January going to be helping with the Bolero. That, that, that's astonishing to me. <laughs> it, was, it was two years ago, maybe. I couldn't dance at all. And, uh, and when I went down, when I first started going down to the Epitank room, I was petrified scared to death because I couldn't dance and uh, I, I didn't the other thing that I think has changed uh, Mary and Jim is um, I, I remember one night um, Anna Gulrich uh, there, there I sat scared to death and Anna Gulrich uh, said Vince do you ever ask a lady to dance <laughs> and I said I know that's the way it's supposed to work on it but uh, well, not necessarily. The ladies will sometimes come and ask you to dance. Wow, how nice that is. <laughs> but that's different. Uh, so, uh, and yes, the party afterwards, seven to nine on uh, Friday nights, the party afterward, uh, I can remember one night getting home at 10 minutes to three in the morning. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. that's right. Later so than I am, <laughs> that's for sure. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, but this one will be 8.30 to 12.30, uh, mm -hmm. 8.30 at least to 12.30 plus probably. Oh, yeah. All right. But, uh, you know, Vince, we are having the dance this Friday as usual. So that's yes. Uh, yes. here in the Lake Akatink room. Yeah. Yeah. Seven to nine. But um, do you have a list of the different dances that are coming up for Linda? Um, no, I don't think so. Let's, I don't think this is it. Oh, that's not it? <laughs> well, we know the, the, the merengue. I'm doing that in February. Yeah. Vince is doing the bolero. And um, John Carl, I'm sure, will be doing uh, also a month. And Anne and Bob Golick will also be doing it. So yeah. it'll be interesting. You learn all these different types. I, I'm yeah. learning dances that I never had seen before, like the bolero. I never did mm -hmm. that before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, it, it just, and it's good because for the memory, you have to remember to do the steps and get out there and do it on, on the, our dance nights. So it's, it's very challenging, but it, it's uh, a lot of fun. Now, now, are the two of you going to dance here today? No, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have our dance shoes on. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. yeah so we, we didn't leave you a lot of time to do that. Uh -huh. uh, well, so, so it's fine. We, we usually draw 
35 people maybe on a mm -hmm. Friday night. Yeah, I think between 30 <clears throat> and 35, yeah. And uh, we hold four band dances every year. That's right. And the band dances will bring in 80 people maybe. Exactly. Like yep. Over in uh, the uh, conference room. Over in the conference room, yes. Yeah. All right. So what's that fun dance that we're just learning that, that we go around in a circle? Oh, yeah. We do the uh, El Paso. El Paso. Oh, yeah. yeah. The El Paso. We right. just started learning the El yeah, Paso, and that right. is just a lot of fun. And other people brought that in to us. That that's right. We that's needed right. to learn how mm -hmm. to do yeah, that. We have, <clears throat> we have people come in from off campus, and uh, one of them particularly a marvelous dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. I don't... Uh, we're down to a minute or less here, uh, Mary and Jim, and uh, I thank you both for coming. Uh, I, I wasn't sure who was going to be here today to talk to <laughs> oh. This is nice. This is fun. Yeah, well, thanks, Vincent. And, and again, the New Year's Eve party, everybody at Green Spring is invited, so please know that, that, that you're welcome. Yeah, just watch, just see what, what people are doing. And then hopefully join us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Good. Again, thank you both for coming. And uh, I have some announcements to make.